Thanks. Um, another video out. How's everybody doing? Everybody's been. I mean, everybody. When I say everybody's, everybody in the tank. I moved Scarecrow with her, but everybody in the tank's been pretty good. Um, sad news: one of my great buddy Shaggy uh, didn't make it. Uh, he actually had a tumor growing out of his cheek, and it turned to like some. I think it's cancer or some cancerous cells or, uh, or something is growing out of his cheek and um, it turned into duck lips and um, he had bloat too and uh, he died so I took him out of the community tank and um, yeah I was trying to help him but um, he died and I was like you know he's, he's in misery so I was gonna um, get some clove oil and you guys already know what clove oil does if you guys don't it just kind of put them to sleep but i came home from work and buddy was already on his way going so just dug a hole and give him his farewell but aside from shaggy i want to talk to you guys about temperature for flower horns um, I know I'm outside, so I'm always having to fight with the temperature fluctuation and activity of the flower horns in general, or anything along the lines of flower horn hybrid cichlids. Um, they are a tropical fish, you know. They're they're a tropical hybrid fish that um, was brought together, and um, you know a lot of those mixture cichlids are brought together and mixed and made it and it made it possible uh, made a flower horn possible but these guys are uh, they stay in very warm temperatures um, having the proper heater having the correct temperature for them you know um, it, the warmer the better but not too warm uh, I would say as as warm as just 86 degrees if you guys don't know what 86 degree is you know maybe you just Maybe just get a kid or a baby and give them a bath. You guys will know exactly what I'm talking about. Or kids, you know. They don't like too warm. They don't like too cold. They like perfectly warm only. Uh, I'm, these these fish right here, if you guys touch my tanks or if you guys are here and you guys want to touch the water, it's fairly warm. You know, you could probably bathe in it. Um, but the, the water will get cold pretty fast. So during the days... Um, this plane's kind of cloudy. I put some, I turn it on. I put some uh, cloudy clarifier, uh, water clarifier medicine in here just to clear out the water. But I think it's more of uh, not doing enough water change only. I, know, I do it almost every single day though. So I don't know what the problem is. I just, I don't know. But going back to the topic of having proper heater for these fire horns is the key to keeping flower horns, uh, even though if you don't have good food, I mean, food plays a lot. Play it doesn't play a lot, but it does. It does a phenomenal job of uh, keeping them alive. Um, of course, obviously, but um, the health system, you know, uh, and growth as well. But heater. Uh, you know, it's just the same with humans. If you are in the cold 24-7, uh, your immune system shuts down or it, it weakens a lot. Uh, some of these fish, they like to stay in a very warm, warm um, water. And uh, I, was, I would have to say that my water during the winter at night, when it gets Sacramento here, it drops to like 36, 34, 35, around there. I think the, the coldest I've seen is 33. Um, and it would get really, really cold, and uh, my temperature at night here will stay between 86 to 88, you know. And during the day, it would drop to 82 to 84. Um, 
it's just because that temperature fluctuation uh, that difference of day and night they'll they'll um, the, the heater will work accordingly to the to the day and night and these guys like to stay in very warm temperature 82 to me is the lowest you know they'll still they'll they'll, they'll still do good in 82 um, but they'll thrive a lot you know and they'll, they'll do a lot better in 84 86 um, 88 you know if uh, some fish likes 88 i've had a couple of fish that likes 88 like this dude he likes his tank very warm i know during the day when it's around his temperature is around 82 um he's not that active he'll come up and greet me and all these stuff but i'm just right here and the tank is very warm around i would i would say 86 to 88 degrees and um he would yeah he's super active same with these guys over here their tank is super warm 88 86 degrees and they're doing right they're doing good you know um just having proper heater makes them look a lot better makes them do a lot better um and their immune system just boosts up a lot better too you know not only does their immune system boosts up their coloration um just their their activeness their 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 hunger they're they're always eating they're always active swimming around you don't need to worry about them they don't get so dark you know um and their their kidney you know tends to function based off based on um their the temperature too you know i've figured that these fish they you know when it's cold they have bloat um that temperature change it make turn makes them have bloat they don't poop um they're they're constipated um and they don't eat they, they don't function you know so uh, no matter how much water change you do if your temperature is not there at all you know i mean there's other medicines that it could help your fish too but um just having the correct temperature takes away a lot of stress from um having to to fight with all types of diseases uh, i brought these two guys in from the inside this little dude is back he's the guy that ate the chicken piece my son threw in and he is fabulous he he hit a plateau of growth because uh he was sick and he just stayed small for a while and i uh, had a good friend of mine take care of him because i've tried everything that i've tried and it didn't work out but i guess um it worked for him and uh thank you thanks a lot for him he survived and this dude he came out here too um uh, yeah just i just prefer to have them right here because i had them in their own tanks inside and uh they're not thriving so much they're not doing so good brought them out here coke popped coke popped uh color came in right away uh, same with shaggy too you know, you know shaggy's coke never came and, and then I put him over there and slowly, slowly came in. So um, that's gonna be something that, you know, I, I like for fish to have their own tanks, but then at the end of the day, if they do better in divided, or er, er, in dividers, they'll might as well just stay in dividers. Not for King though, King likes his own tank, but you know, um, at, this, at this point, he's gonna kinda have to figure it out himself because uh, I got a surprise coming. Uh, I'm thinking about selling King or rehoming him, but who knows? Uh, I might keep him. I've been having this um, thought for a while. Yeah, and coming back to the um, the temperature um, thing, um, you know, it solves a lot of problems. You, you know, I've had, I want to say, almost the whole year. Uh, I didn't use any medication. Um, only thing I had was aquarium salt. Um, I want to say I didn't use Melifix, but I did use it at one point, but it was more like for a couple of days only. And then I did a bunch of water change uh, consecutively every single other day. I didn't even add any more Melifix. Um, but yeah, I just turn up the heat and uh, aquarium salt and just make sure you're, um, your pH is good, you know. Um, low nitrates, no light, ni low nitrates. pH is good, and correct temperature, you 
have very very little problems just make sure that the temperature is good on point it's a little update on the cap uh, his tank is a little cloudy so i turned off the light i added some water clarifier so um there won't be any direct light and uh Let's see if it clears up by tomorrow or I might need to do another water change. And a little update on this tank right here. Um, I put back my um, internal filter to clear up all the debris in here. Um, this log right here, fake log, actually collects a lot, a lot of poop and debris. That My King Kong parrot, all these parrots in here, um, picked up this little dude right there. My female is finally healing and she's looking a lot better. She's getting more and more comfortable. Um, yeah, these guys are doing good. Oh, I also picked up a SRT SB or a SRT short body, Super Red Texas short body. Um, just, to, just to test it out. It's haven't uh, bloomed or faded its color yet. Um, but I'll be on the lookout for that. I don't know if this is a male or a female right here cross fingers it's a male so we'll see it does look like a male though in my opinion um, but discus is good um, the other discus didn't do so well so he had to go um, but everybody's doing good this tank is very very clean very very clear uh, temperature in here is proper it's the same as other tanks too yeah so I, I rarely have any um, problems um, with any of my fish or having to deal with sickness. Uh, the, he, that dude, Garen, uh, I only had a problem with him when I was transporting him from Tracy to Sacramento here. That was due to temperature change and uh, the, during the drive. And it was very bad because you guys know California, we're always doing road constructions. And, the roads were very bad, very, very wavy for him. And he was stressed out, he had bloat. I fixed him. Um, and Spotty died due to bloat too. I think there was a malfunction in one of the 500s, so I swapped out to the 300s. And um, yeah, he got sick too. I don't know what happened. It was super fast. Uh, but besides that, it, it really was, I didn't really, fought with anything bad um scarecrow no not scarecrow uh let's see shaggy yeah there we go yeah shaggy had a cut and slip and it recovered and then he had a tumor growing on his face because he was looking good after his lip recovered um it just stayed cricket like that because i think it got stuck there for a good while and um and then it became a tumor on his face you know i think it's it more of a, it didn't grow it didn't re recovered properly so um it had a tumor in his face his face was swollen super big like a pimple or a zit and he just couldn't eat bloat um bloat is not due to temperature drop or anything i think it has to do with like fa kidney failure you know um if, if your kidney's not doing any work for I mean as long as for the fish you know um, if the kidney is not working properly they'll just constipate have a big stomach and not swim properly stay at a corner and eventually they'll die same thing with scarecrow had bloat too um, but I don't know what happened what went wrong and those are the like keeping for flowers for almost a little over a year and a half now um, I haven't had a handful of fish that died on me. I mean, the others were just natural disasters. But uh, it was a trial and error for patio tanks. It was a trial and error for fish outdoor, doing, keeping fish in the patio here. Um, it's a lot to learn, trial and error. Uh, but yeah, I think I've kind of gone it down to keeping fish outdoor, uh, keeping fish during the winter, um, and I want to say the spring during hard times I don't know what will happen if there's a blackout and um, I got this big fish right here I only know that he's going to be in the bucket first 20 gallons in the house will be divided very very small for these fish just to swim back and forth and eat
Um, parrots will survive. I've experienced a lot of with parrots as well. They will survive, especially a lot of these smaller guys right here. They will survive in the in temperatures 72, 74 around there. Um, yeah, but these guys will definitely be going into the 20 gallons inside and a very very tight spot. I have two buckets right here too. And yeah, that is it for patio tanks tonight. Quite a bit a informative, um, long informative video, but I hope you guys like it. Um, not much. I'm not more, I'm not tech savvy like a lot of other YouTubers, but I uh, hope you guys take something away from this. Uh, make sure your heaters are good. Make sure uh, your fish are active and make sure your water is good, you know meaning parameters are good temperatures are good and your fish will thrive and it will look good for you new keepers old keepers people who struggle to keep your flower nice um that is it for patio tanks we is outs mm -hmm.